I don't even get this concept, but apparently this is a thing. A Nappuccino. Virginia was hoping it involved wine. It doesn't, sadly. I thought I was thinking like Napa, California, grapes. Right. Uh, no, we're talking about actually sleep and coffee, which counterintuitive, right? Very. It's like cocaine and meditation. It doesn't really <laughs> work. I, I know. I hear you. <laughs> But apparently, it actually does work together. Nappuccino combines taking a nap, sleeping, and drinking coffee, which has caffeine, which is a stimulant. Now, they say that a nappuccino takes advantage of the synergy effect that arises when caffeine and a power nap are combined. Huh? But you're not going to be able to fall asleep because you're going to be all ginned up from the caffeine. They said it might seem counterintuitive to combine caffeine with sleep, but caffeine followed by a brief nap has been shown to improve alertness and mental acuity in several studies. I will tell you one time I did drink a Red Bull and I took a nap. I don't know what it was. It made me tired. Yeah. I couldn't even understand why that was. Now, here's what you do for coffee naps to work. Timing and sequence are important. You have to pull it off the right way. To do a nappuccino, they say find a dark, comfortable, and quiet place to snooze around 2 or 3 p.m. That is typically, for anyone on a normal clock, the best time on a regular schedule. You then consume a small cup of coffee relatively quick over just a few minutes. That's why maybe you'll want a cappuccino or something that you can knock down. Then you set your alarm for 25 minutes and you lie down immediately. You'll likely doze off, get into a state of sleep, and then as the caffeine is getting into your bloodstream, when you awaken, it's the double effect of you've taken a nap and you got caffeine and you're supercharged. This sounds made up. Is this from TikTok? No. <laughs> hey, it's <laughs> not a TikTok I, thing. This smells like TikTok. They I, say there are multiple studies on the Nappuccino that you can go and look up. I think I hate the Nappuccino. This would never work for a guy like me. The coffee and a nap? I don't think a lot of things work for a guy like you. Well. <laughs> you don't sleep as it is. Yeah. It's coffee, this, this, this seems made up, Kev. I don't know. They say go check out the studies. It does seem counterintuitive, but if you follow that sequence, do it at the right time of day. Again, you've got to start at about 2 or 3 p.m. You need to find a dark, comfortable, and cool place to lay down. You then knock back your coffee, lay down pretty much immediately, set an alarm for 25 minutes. In that time, you doze off. The caffeine has in your bloodstream. When it does in 25 minutes, you wake up with the benefit of the nap and the caffeine in your bloodstream, and you are supercharged and ready to go. Oh, the whole time my OCD would be going crazy. I'd be laying there trying to take a nap going, when's the coffee kicking in? When's, is that when's the it? caffeine? Is, is, is caffeine? that it? What's it kicking in? Is it working? Oh, my Do God. I feel it? I'm not tired. Dragons! <laughs> so many dragons! <laughs> you might have to have a uh, good sense of uh, mental stability. Yeah, you're looking at the wrong people for mental stability, Kevin. Yeah.